this structure, I came up with it a few years back because I realized something. I cannot hide. I do seminars. People come to see my properties in Puerto Rico. People know that I have a fund and they know the assets in the fund. They can Google Mixif LLC and they see what's owned under Mixif, SFI LLC, and they can see it. I mean, and if you could hide, why would Trump put his name right on the building? Trump in gold colors, right? He should have put ABC Corp. So there must be a way. I mean, this is really another one of those uh, cracking the code at the best possible level. And um, on the website, I'm sorry I can't log in, but when you go to Kiss My Assets Goodbye or KMAGB, go to the section, I put it for free, go to the sections about the webinars. And there are webinars I did with judges, the judge from Texas, and what he says, Texas is a homestead state. That means if you have a home and somebody sues you and they win, they can take anything. That's what most, most people think. But what happens is, do you know this? The lawsuit usually stays on the records, and when this person dies, it goes to the estate and they collect from the estate. So what happens when you put a lien, they can collect ever. And then they end up at, with a tax bill now because they're like sitting there with a, something they didn't collect. But before, they could sit, if there is equity, they will collect it later so they don't get the tax because it's coming. He explains it, I mean, the judge explains it much better because he's talking about Texas. The judge in California explains that this is the best thing because it avoids the foreclosure in California, it avoids the charging orders, there is nothing anybody can go after. And you hear me interviewing them, it's like, are you sure, Judge Landers, are you sure with this, this? And I have another person who talks about insurances, how the insurance get out of paying a lot of claims that go over a million. They're the masters of collecting money and paying very little. Mm -hmm.